Hey everyone. Today let's discuss planted tank light. If you are a beginner in planted tank hobby or this is your first planted tank then i believe this video will be helpful to you the most important factor in planted tank is light unlike other aquariums here light not only allows us to look inside tank but it plays a significant role in growing the plants and maintaining the ecology within the glass box light in the planted tank must be kept at least 8 hours in a day highly advise you to pick a time to turn on and off the light in your planted tank please ensure you have at least 8 hours of photo period and also the time to switch on and off light needs to be maintained i prefer to keep a timer so that every day throughout the year your tank light is turned on and off at the same time plants love consistency and with this approach you will have a higher chance of success any light with a color temperature of 6500 kelvin or higher is capable of growing plants effectively please take a note 6500 kelvin is the basic need to grow your plants at the time of purchasing lights i advise you to take a look at the packaging you will be able to find what color temperature the light belongs to in past i used cfl light in my planted tank and had success t5 t8 tubes even shop lights are fine for planted tank as long as they are having color temperature of 6500 kelvin or higher i recommend using led lights in planted tank as they are low in energy consumption and produce less heat i use nicro led light in my planted tank they are pretty reasonably priced and do a good job of growing plants if you search amazon you will find plenty of choices for your planted tank light just use the keyword led light for planted tanks and you'll find plenty of options in amazon now coming back to the main topic how much light do you need for your planted tank the amount of light you need in a planted tank may vary on various factors but to keep things simple i'll simply give you four choices rather five choices number 1 low light number 2 medium light number 3 decent light number 4 bright light and number 5 very bright light a beginner should pick between choice 1 to 3 bright light and very bright lights are mostly used by experts in planted tank hobby now what is the definition of low light or bright light if the light illumination in your tank is less than 5 lsi then you are in the category of low light only moss anubias and fern will be able to survive such light condition most of the aquatic plants will not grow in this light I will display a list of 5 categories on screen as we discussed. Now, 
please note the amount of light entering your tank and reaching the tank bottom will depend on two factors. Number one, your tank height and number two, the distance between light and water surface. If you place your light far above water surface, then the amount of light entering water will significantly decrease. Similarly, if your tank depth is more than 18 inches or 45 cm, then the amount of light reaching the tank bottom will be significantly reduced. The chart displayed on screen is made keeping in mind that your tank height is less than 18 inches and you are placing light just above your tank water surface. Now the main question coming to your mind should be what is LSI or how you can measure it. It's pretty easy and I'll explain it to you. LSI stands for lumens per square inch. It's basically an unit to measure how much light your tank is getting. Let's assume you have an 8 inch cube tank. So the surface area of your tank will be 8 into 8 or 64 square inch. Now you are planning to use a Nicro 500 lumen LED light to lit your tank. You have placed your LED light just above the tank water surface. In this case LSI at the tank water surface will be 500 divided by 64 or 7.81 LSI. Considering our earlier chart, your tank falls under the medium light category. While purchasing planted tank light, please check the total amount of lumens that light is generating. This is the key to calculate required LSI for your planted tank. Please note how effectively photosynthesis will occur in your plants will actually depends on PAR or photosynthetically active radiation. But this is a bit complex topics to discuss. Maybe I will create a separate video for that. For a beginner in planted tank, LSI measurement will get you started and going. I hope you like today's video. If so, then please share, subscribe and also don't forget to leave your comment in the comment section. Hope to see you in next week. Take care. Have a nice evening. Bye bye.